Welcome back everyone to another Grand Theft Auto 5 video and in today's video I'm going to show you guys how you can actually make millions as well as level up quickly and the great thing is there's only one requirement to get started with this. Just getting started with today's video with Rockstar doing their weekly update every Thursday to the game this week they actually made the adversary mode overtime rumble at dole money and RP for this week. So, of course, we'll be taking advantage of that, and the great thing is it actually unlocks at rank 1, so you can literally do this just starting out in the game. The only downside to this is you're going to need another player in order to start it up, two for the minimum, and the great thing is because, honestly, this is a fun adversary mode, and a lot of people are going to be playing it for the dome money and RP, so it should be fairly easy to find a group. So just go ahead and make your way into any GTA Online session. You can do this in an invite only or a public. Honestly, it doesn't matter. From here, go ahead, press options, it goes online, go over to jobs, and this is where you can choose between a quick join or play job. Now, if you actually have a group to do this with, then just go over to play job, go over to rocks are created, make your way over to adversary mode, and just keep on going until you find overtime rumble series, and there you go. You can see here, it's so money in RP for this week, as well as there's actually going to be a seven of them that you can actually choose from, which is really good. And so if you actually want to start this up on your own, you can. Or if you actually want to join another group who's starting any adversary mode up, go back over to quick join and then go to play adversary mode. Of course, this will now link you into any group who's doing any adversary mode up. And because Overtime Rumble is actually dual money and RP for this week, we should actually get into a group on our very first go. It actually looks like we did here, so it looks like it's going to be Overtime Rumble number one, which of course, dual money and RP. So now we're just going to go ahead and wait on some players. It looks like our first to win is set to three rounds, which is definitely not bad. And it looks like we just almost found a full party here off the bat. Yeah, and there we go. So we just found a full party. So now let's go ahead and start it up. All right, so we're starting with our first round here. And so what's going to happen basically is you're going to be in different teams. You can see here for this one, it's only two teams. It's going to be orange and purple. Basically, what you're doing is actually driving off this massive ramp here. And then what you're doing is trying to land on this little point board, which for this one is going to be at the maze bank, but it's going to be in different areas depending on which overtime rumble you do. So this one's over at the maze bank, and basically you have to land on it and try to get as much points as possible. The farther away you are from it, uh, the less points. The closer you are, the more points you get. And that's kind of how the entire adversary mode works. Like I said, it's very fun, and honestly, it's kind of just like a waiting game. Like, my best tip for this one is try to wait for the last second to jump. That way you can actually hit a player off, like there's a purple one for me that's actually sitting on the edge. And I can actually just go and hit them off so they lose points and I get their points. Alright, so we lost this round here. For this, we actually got around $8,530 and $1,500 RP. As for the enemy team, they actually made more money at $14,930 and $2,250 RP. Alright, so we won this round thankfully. So, we got one loss, one win. It looks like for this one, we got $14,930 and $2,250 RP. Don't know why two of our teammates actually left, even though we were winning. But, of course, the enemies got $8,000 and then $1,500 RP. So, now we're kind of tied here at 1-1. One and, one, and so, there is actually three rounds to actually win this entire match. So, we might actually get some really good money in RP from this. Alright, so we did lose this round, not by much actually, but we did lose, and so therefore, now it's tied again at a 2v2. So basically, now whoever wins the next one, it wins the entire match. Uh, looks like enemy team got 14k and we got 8k, so it looks like around the same amount of money and RP are going to get per round, of course, depending if you're winning or losing, it. but next round is going to be our very last one, so we'll see how this goes. Alright, so we did lose this match. There was no way we were winning it. I have the most NPC team I've ever seen. Uh, so we did lose the entire match. Let's go and see what we got for this. 55,000. Definitely not bad for losing the match. Let's go and see the RP amount. 9,000. That's really good. I'm actually really wanting to see what the enemy team got. So let's go ahead and see what they got as a total. Alright, and it looks like they got a total of $103,000, which is double what we had, and 9,750 RP. The RP is actually not really that much of a difference. I don't know. I was expecting the RP to be way better, like double R's, but it looks like they only went up by 750. Alright, so now we're going to go ahead and do one more. Honestly, it's just because I really enjoyed the Overtime Rumble, so we're just going to go ahead and do this one. 
and I'll show you guys the end result. You already know how the match works, so I'll just be wasting your time if I show you round by round. So I'm just going to show you the final match, but before we go ahead and do that, let's go ahead and talk about our sponsor for today's video. Are you wanting more money in GTA 5 Online, but don't want to spend the ridiculous price of shark cards? I mean, just look at these prices. You want a new car? That's $50. You want the Oppressor MK2? That's $100. And if you want some of the nicest vehicles in the game, you're looking at between $50 to $100 in just shark cards. That's more than just buying the game itself. Thankfully, this is where OP Mods comes in. They feature cheap and reliable services for your GTA 5 Online needs. They provide modded accounts and boost the game, so instead of spending a $100 shark card, you can spend $15 and get $150 million there. They currently have this available to all the old gen and next gen consoles, including PC. Thankfully to their new update that they just added on the website, looking for what you need is much easier and more simplified. Aside from GTA, they also have Red Dead Redemption 2 as well as Forza Horizon 5 mods. With Red Dead Redemption 2, you can get a gold boost, cash boost, or even modded accounts. Right now, there is a summer sale available with up to 60% off on purchases. So what are you waiting for? Go buy it now, and also don't forget to use code LEGIT for 5% off on all your purchases. Thank you, and now let's get on with the video. We actually had a chance of winning there, and we just completely lost the match. So we got $47,340 and 7,350 RP. So let's go ahead and see what the opponents got. I'm assuming they're probably going to have double what we had. Yeah, so they got $109,160 and then 9,750 RP. And we got 7,350 RP for the total. And so there you guys go. That is basically your money and RP method for this week. Just do the overtime rumble adversary mode. That's still money and RP for only this week until next Thursday. And so that's it for today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, feel free to like and subscribe for more GTA 5 videos and content just like this. With that being said, you guys have a great one. Stay safe out there and goodbye.